What is up amigos? Today we're talking about the side mirror aerodynamics and these, despite being quite small, are one of the more complicated aerodynamic features on a car. We're we'll going through the aerodynamics of them, something called soiling and noise. So to give you an idea, I've printed off a few pictures of car mirrors and you can see that even if you go out like on your way to work tomorrow or whatever, or on your way home, you can go through like walking past cars and you'll see all these different mirrors and pretty much no mirror apart from the very cheap cars have just a mirror. If you look at these mirrors, they're always very shaped and they look good, but there's also functionality behind them. So let's talk about this mirror, for example. You see that there's this line going here. So at the end of the day, the mirrors are bluff bodies and the idea of them is to make them as streamlined as possible. Obviously you need the actual mirror part itself to be able to look in the rear and see for safety concerns. But if you can make the front as aerodynamic as possible, that can cut down the drag. But in addition to that, we also need to consider something called soiling. So soiling is where you have um, dust and dirt and debris, etc., spilling up onto the car. So it's not that important in like, let's say the wheelhouses because sure it will get dirty, but if you get soiling onto the side um, window, for example, that is then going to be a safety concern for the driver as is the back window or reversing cameras, etc. So for the mirrors, the idea is to try to move as much of the air away that, that is hitting the mirror away from the w window. The reason is because if in the air you have uh, dirt, uh, rain, all that kind of stuff, that's going to then potentially hit the side uh, window and then dirty that up and cause a safety concern for the driver. So with these mirrors, for example, you see there's a line in the middle and that's going to effectively be diverting the flow into the up part and the down part. And the mirrors are always at an angle back, which means that the flow is going to move more this way. And that's exactly what we want to do with these mirrors. We want to move the flow, which is all coming around here and hitting this part potentially, and move it towards the outside region. So that when it comes off, it's going to come away from the side window. And that means that we can divert all this dust and etc. away. In addition to that, we do get the drag penalty because we do have a bigger wake. If we were to divert the wake towards the window, for example, a bit more, then we could then get the wake of the car to be a lot, little bit smaller and reduce the drag there. But the safety concerns of the uh, soiling is well worth the effort of actually moving the air away and increasing the drag a little bit. In addition to this, sometimes we can produce noise from these mirrors, from these mirrors because uh, if you have, for example, these vortices shedding off around here, you have tonal frequencies and it's very close to where the driver or the passenger is sitting. It's actually one of the worst parts to be producing noise. Like if you produce noise at the back, for example, well, that's quite far away from a lot of the passengers, especially the driver. So that's not as bad as having noise being produced here, which then can propagate in through the window, which does happen a lot. Looking at another mirror, we see a similar kind of design, but a little bit different. You see it's curved and there's a few little... Um, points here. There's one here, potentially just a little bit of a point there, a point here perhaps, and a point down here. These regions are usually where the flow is funneled to and um, they separate. There's also a line in the middle here and that's often going to be where the flow is going to come along the mirror, get to this point and then potentially separate. So we have a controlled separation line so we know where it's going to happen. And then we can control where the flow goes from there. Again, the flow is probably going to come around from the middle and out and then be shed away from the window. And even looking at, for example, a Ferrari, we do see it is a styling feature, but it, it does look good. But we also see some aerodynamic features off here. So we see this cavity in the middle here. What that is going to do is any air that's going to be coming in here, including the debris that's in there, is gonna be funneled along this channel in a very controlled fashion, all the way to the outside, and then it's going to come out. You can see there was a little cavity just there as well, which is gonna be funneled away. At this point, that's where it's going to leave the car and not soil the window. And then the flow that comes past here is going to zoom up and then just come off and it's not going to uh, hit the window here. So that is the mirrors on the outside. What about the inside? Well, again, soiling is a big concern. So you see in a lot of cars and increasingly so, that the mirror is recessed in the actual housing. So you can see if, where the mirror is compared to the housing. There's a good one centimeter to maybe a one and a half, two centimeter gap there. And the reason why is because if the mirror is flush with the housing, any flow that comes um, around and potentially doesn't separate can actually soil this mirror. So by recessing this window, this mirror into the housing, the flow will come and even if it does like leak around here a little bit, it's not gonna hit the mirror because the mirror is still a good centimeter or two away and it's gonna leave the 
uh, mirror housing without hitting the mirror, keeping this mirror clean so you can see in the distance and also keep the window nice and clean as well. So that is mirror aerodynamics. As I mentioned, it was quite complicated considering how small these things are. So if you like this video, make sure to like it and click the subscribe button and I'll see you next video. Peace out, amigos.